So how do you configure security policies on your Juniper device to allow traffic in one zone to reach traffic in another zone? Well, in this video, I'll show you exactly how to do that. All right, and we are back in the lab environment. So in this example, I have two PCs. I have PCA, which is going to be in my trusted network on the 10.0.1.10. I mean, 10.0.1.0 slash 24 network. And then I have PCA, uh, PCB, that's going to be on my untrusted network. Um, and this is on the network of 10.0.2.20. All right, so I need to go ahead and put in place a security policy that's going to permit traffic to flow from one zone to another. And if you can recall from the previous video that I posted, the difference between a security zone is that a security zone, it represents traffic that is coming to the firewall, like to an interface on the firewall. A security policy, it regulates traffic that's flowing from one zone to another zone. All right, so I'll go ahead and jump on my Juniper SRX device and I'll take a look at the configuration. Right now, I only have the IP addresses that are directly connected to each of the PCs. So now I'll go ahead and create my security zones for starters. So. I'll create the security zone trust for zones, security zone trust, and I'll specify the interface that'll be associated with this zone as GE00. Uh, let's see, I believe that's two. Yep, dot zero. And I'll specify the, the what's permitted on that on that zone. So I'll specify set security, set security zones, security zones, host inbound traffic. And for system services, I'll do all since this is my trusted zone. And for protocols, I'll do all as well. And I'll hit enter. So show security. So far, I have my first zone configured for the trusted interface. And I'll now go ahead and create my second zone for the untrusted interface. So security zone, set security zones, security zone, untrust. And the interface that I'll cite here is GE003.0. All right, now I'll specify what protocols and services are allowed to reach the SRX device from this zone. And, you know, this is a lab environment, but I'll make it fun, you know. Um, so let's see, for untrust, host inbound traffic, um, uh, I'll say the only thing that I'll permit is um, so for system services, the only thing I'll permit is ping. And for protocols, I won't permit any, so I won't even specify it. So if I now do a show security, I can see that for my trusted zone, I'm allowing all services, all protocols for the inter and the interface that I have associated with this zone is interface GE002. For my untrusted zone, I have GE003 associated with it, yeah, but I'm only allowing ping. And that's going to the firewall itself. So now I wanna create a security policy because you know at this point I'll commit and quit it and I can verify that I can now from my PCA, uh, let's see, show IP, I can ping the SRX device and it, it's working. But if I attempt to ping PCB, which is on a different network, it's timing out. And that's because there's not a policy in place on my SRX device just yet. That's permitting that traffic from the trusted zone to the untrusted zone. So uh, on the SRX, I'll enter back into edit mode and I'll create a security policy, uh, set security policy. This is going to be called set security policy from zone going to the untrust zone and I'll call this trust to untrust and what I'll actually do let's see all right so type policy here and then give it the name so trust to untrust I'm actually do a control a here so that I can jump to the, the beginning of that line and I'll do an edit instead of a set command just so it, it's easier to look at and so I'll do set here I want to match on source address any and then I'll do match, and then I'll do match destination address, any. And this is this is all because this is a lab environment. In reality, we would want to drill these down a bit more. Um, but here, here we go. So for application, I'm going to specify any as well. So let me clear the screen for a second, and I'll do a show just so that you can see what this policy looks like. And so I'm matching on source uh, traffic uh, with a source address of any, destination address, any, and application. It can be any type of application. And I need to specify what action it's going to be. Is it going to permit or deny it? So set then permit and I'll hit enter. So now if I do a show, that's how that security policy looks for uh, traffic going from the trust to the untrust. All right, and that looks good. All right, so now that that security policy is in place, let me clear the screen and just do a show for the full configuration to see what all we have in place. We have our interfaces with their layer three IP addresses. We have our zone configuration. And here we have the policy configuration that's going to allow traffic from the trust zone going to the untrust zone. So here we go. I'll go ahead and give this a commit and quit once again. And I'll reattempt that ping from PCA to PCB. And I can see now that I have that security policy in place, I can get return traffic from PCB. All right. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. 
As always, thanks for viewing and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.